Now we take a look at the Quran in Surah Nuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the Prophet Noah. May peace be upon him. Nuh. And Allah says, He told his people certain statements and he told them the benefits of certain things. Now that whole story is repeated in the Quran. When Allah repeats a story in the Quran, he does not say it for nothing. Do you think that the Quran has fairy tales that you just read a story and say, okay, I've got to the story of Noah. It was a very powerful story. The people died and then, you know, he survived. Is that the story? That is not the, that is not the moral of the story. You need to derive a lesson. That is the main thing. So Nuh alayhi salatu was salam, he says, فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ I told my people, say astaghfirullah, turn to Allah, ask Allah's forgiveness. See the same statement we are saying today. What is the moral of today's message? Astaghfirullah. Seek Allah's forgiveness. That is the moral. So he told his people the same thing. And then he explained to them why he is saying that. Why am I saying, say astaghfirullah? Innahu kana ghaffara. Point number one, because Allah is very, very forgiving. You see, there is a difference between Ghafoor and Ghaffar. What is the difference? Ghafoor is one who is forgiving. And Ghaffar is one who continues to forgive all the time. You know, if someone does something wrong at work and they go to the boss, say, I'm sorry. And they go back. Boss says, no problem. Go back to work. They do it again. They come back, say, I'm sorry. Boss says, no problem. Go back. They do it a third time. Come back to the boss. I'm sorry. The boss says, hang on. You better sign this document to say I've given you final warning. Right or wrong? Yes. After you do it five, six times, you, you get a, a letter to say that from next month, please don't come to work. Finished. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will continue to forgive you repeatedly again and again until the day you die. No matter how many times a sin is done, your duty is to keep on asking Allah's forgiveness. When you ask Allah's forgiveness, you need to be genuine not to go back. But if shaitan has trapped you again and you went back, after having planned not to go back, still you will find Allah most forgiving, most merciful. That is the meaning of ghaffar. Ghaffar meaning one who just keeps on forgiving. He just carries on forgiving. That's the name of Allah. And it's a quality of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Nuh alayhi salam says, I told my people, keep on asking Allah's forgiveness, astaghfirullah, because he will keep on forgiving you. For as long as you keep on asking him, he will keep on giving you. Subhanallah. So don't lose hope. Ask Allah's forgiveness every day. And ask him forgiveness because asking forgiveness will elevate your status even after your sin is forgiven. Then what will happen? Say for example, I keep on asking Allah's forgiveness. Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, forgive me. He says, he will grant you beneficial rain from the skies. Through what? Through astaghfirullah. Because I said astaghfirullah, oh Allah forgive me, oh Allah forgive me. Beneficial rain. What is the meaning of rain? What does rain depict? Rain depicts the flourishing of the earth and the beauty of the economy. And your entire nation begins to flourish because of the beautiful rain. The crop is produced. People are eating. People are happy. The rivers are flowing and the water is there. So everything is beautiful. That is rain. How did we get it? Astaghfirullah. Oh Allah, I seek your forgiveness. Now the young people of today, they have a problem. If you tell them, Astaghfirullah will give you rain. They will tell you, I don't want rain. I want money. I'm sure you know that. They tell you, give me, you know, fulus. I need the money. I need the cash. What about rain? Rain comes or don't comes. I'm not worried. I need the money. Now that is shallow and it is narrow mindedness because obviously you will only get money through hard work. And, and that will only happen if your economy is flourishing and you have a job and so on. So Allah says, we will grant you the rain. But because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give us even more, guess what he says? Immediately after he speaks about rain, listen to what he says. And he will strengthen you with money. Which means don't worry, we know what you want. You want the cash? We will give you the cash also. Through what? Astaghfirullah. Allah says we will give you the wealth. We will give you sustenance. We will sustain you. We will provide for you. We will make sure you are provided for. Be happy and content. No need to steal and no need to live a life higher than your means. Get down to your means. You earn a thousand ringgit. Manage your month so that you will not use more than a thousand that month. You earn a million, manage your month so that you will give away a lot of that million, inshallah, to a good cause. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and open our doors. So Allah is telling us he's going to give you amwal, wealth. This is my call for you this afternoon. One message, simple message to the point. Let us increase seeking forgiveness of Allah and the doors of goodness will open and the doors of evil shall be sealed all through continuing to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. I hope and I pray that I've motivated myself to ask Allah's forgiveness.